I'm so frustrated with this. Why is this not working? Bro, I don't get it. It's literally copy and pasted. I'm running so low on time. Bro, you're not gonna hit me with that. Just spamming. No way! <laughs> no way! That's crazy. Bro, this game is so doo-doo. If it's so bad, just make your own. You know what? Fine. I think I will do that. Give me 24 hours. I'll be there. Uh, oops. Looks like I'm making a fighting game now. Hopefully it's not too hard. Well, the timer has begun, and the very first thing I did was make a character. It's just a square, because let's be honest, I don't have time for anything else. And before I can figure out anything else, I need to make at least one attack. After around 30 minutes, I settled on this. A move where the character sort of flattens like a pancake. And personally, I feel this looks pretty good, because all in all, I'm going to need to make at least 12 moves for it to feel like an actual fighting game. And look, I'm gonna say this now. 12 moves is a lot to make in just 24 hours. Some of them will make sense, some of them won't, some of them look cool, some of them don't. Bars. With only 23 hours left in the project, eight of which I have to spend sleeping, it is not an exaggeration to say that the first idea for a move that comes into my head is what I'm going to make. But regardless, this first one I thought looked pretty good. In my game, you can use this down smash by holding down and pressing B while on the ground. With this first move animated, I set up the controls and a second character. But now it was time for things to actually get difficult. Because I need to make it where when this attack is used, it actually hits the opponent. And it's a bit more tricky than you might think too, because if I just add a hitbox to the move, then that's going to hit the player that's using the move as well. And after a bit of trial and error, I came up with a system where basically the hitboxes generated by player one are on player one's team. And then I wrote some code to determine what happens to the player that gets hit. Speaking of which, now might be a good time to explain unique hitboxes of platform fighters. In other fighting games, you have a health bar that as you get hit, depletes until it reaches zero and you lose. But in platform fighters, there is no such health bar. Instead, there's only one way to die, and that's getting launched off the screen. So naturally, this move should knock you away. So let's take a look at what it does. Well, as you can see, that didn't send the opponent very far, and you might be wondering, okay, well, how is that ever going to knock a player off the screen? They're never going to die to that. Well, let me introduce to you the unique damage system of platform fighters. Instead of having a health bar that goes down, you have a damage amount that goes up. The more damage a player has taken, the farther they get launched by the same attack. Look at the difference of being hit by this down smash move at a low damage and a high damage. This damage system is super unique and is what makes platform fighters my favorite type of game. It's extra exciting because unlike regular fighting games, you can die at any time. Now that you understand how a platform fighter works, let's take a look at the actual data of the down smash. If I set this up properly, I can copy and paste it, saving a ton of time in a project that, remember, I only have 24 hours to make. First is the actual startup of the move. If you've played a fighting game before, you've probably noticed how some moves are much faster than others. You might not be thinking about it when you play the game, but what we call startup is a great way for developers to balance the game and make it more fair. This down smash is pretty strong, so I'm gonna give it six frames of startup. And when the game runs at 60 frames per second, that's the equivalent to 0.1 seconds. That's pretty fast, especially for a move this strong. Next comes the active frames, and that's how long that the hitbox put out by the player can contact the other player. I gave it six 16 active frames, which is really, really good. And you might be thinking to yourself, this sounds like an absolutely broken move that you should spam because it's really good. And yeah, it did end up being really, really good when I played the game against my friends, but it wasn't completely broken because of the last thing I added, in lag. In lag is exactly what it sounds like. Time after the move is finished where the player that used the move can't do anything. That way, if you miss the move, it gives your opponent time to counterattack. The in lag on the down smash is 18 frames or 0.3 seconds, which is a ton of time if you miss the move because remember if you miss the move the total time that you're in that spot is the startup plus the active frames plus the end lag which adds up to two-thirds of a second anyway now that I've explained these terms I'm not gonna bother giving you the frame data for all the moves but what you need to know as a viewer is developers regularly use frame data to buff or nerf moves if I wanted to instantly make this down smash a much better move all I would have to do is reduce that end lag from 18 down to something like six now all of this information is great but it still does nothing because if player two walks into this move Nothing happens yet. So let's add a ton of variables to this hitbox to determine what should happen to player two if they get hit by it. And once again, I tried my best to set this up in a way to easily be copy and pasted to other moves. In total, each hitbox has five variables that determines how the player being hit is affected. The first is damage. And once again, I'll use this down smash as an example, which does 20 damage. This is super simple. Next is hit stun, another mechanic of fighting games you might not know exists. Hit stun prevents the player that's been hit 
from making an action. This is what makes combos possible. Remember, player one is stuck in 18 frames of inlag when they use down smash. However, if the down smash hits player two, player two is stuck in 30 frames of hit stun. With simple math, we can see how player one is going to have 12 frames, or 0.2 seconds, of advantage when they land the move. Player one took a risk by throwing out that down smash, so by hitting it, not only are they rewarded with damage, but also have a potential advantage because they have 12 frames where they can get the upper hand on the opponent. Next is knockback. This is a down smash, which means it's supposed to be a little strong. That's why I gave it 30 knockback. That means the minimum knockback you're gonna take is kinda high. See how even at 0%, this player gets sent kinda far compared to some of the other moves, like this jab, which I made later. You can see how at zero damage, when the player is hit by the jab, they get sent pretty much nowhere. But when the player is hit by the down smash, they're sent a decent distance. That's what that knockback is. After that is the knockback angle, which determines the direction the player is sent. Now, even though this move is called a down smash, looking at it, you wouldn't think it would send you downwards. So I gave it a 20 degree launch angle, which sends the player slightly upwards, but mostly horizontal. And the way I broke this up is by using some nerd math with sine and cosine and triangles to split the launch amount into vertical and horizontal components. And finally, I gave this move one special variable called hit strength, and I gave it a value of three. This was my unique way of making what we like to call a kill move. Think back once again to a few minutes ago when I described to you how a platform fighter works. As you accumulate more damage, moves send you further. And that's mostly true, but some moves scale faster than others. Here's an example. Take a look at this move from Smash Ultimate, one of my favorite games of all time and a game which I have over 100 days played. This is Donkey Kong's back air. As you can see, it doesn't send anywhere at 0%. In fact, the player basically didn't move. Now let's compare that with Ness's forward throw at 0%. Whoa, that is much stronger. So looking at this, you might expect that Ness's forward throw would kill earlier than Donkey Kong's back air, right? Wrong. Watch what happens if we put Mario at 200 damage. Bam, Donkey Kong's back air just exploded that plumber. But Ness's forward air? Ooh. Gross, that doesn't even kill. Oh my goodness. This is because Donkey Kong's back air and Ness's forward throw have different amounts of knockback, yes, but also different ways of scaling how much stronger the move gets. I don't know how this system actually works in Smash Ultimate, but the way I tried to replicate it was with this hit strength value. Here's how it works. If the hit strength value is one, this move is never gonna kill the opponent. And I mean like never. If it's a hit value of two, it's a combo move at lower damage, but at higher damage, it either stops comboing or maybe just kills. And finally, a hit strength of three, which is what the down smash is, is a move that scales incredibly quickly. It doesn't send very far at zero damage, but is incredibly strong at 100 damage. And for the super nerds who really want to know, these are the formulas I used. Wow, that was a mouthful. I need a drink. All that work, and we're about three hours into development. But with all the values I need, it's time to just grind out moves. So let's do it. As I show you this, I'm gonna highlight the moves that end up being the most popular in gameplay. This is the neutral aerial. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. With a hit strength of one and a hit stun of 46, this move was an absolute beast to combo out of. This is an amazing move that can combo into tons of moves, including down smash, at almost any damage. Here's the down air, which I'm only showing this because I thought it was a pretty cool idea where his face like turns into a stick. Like, bleh. It also bounces opponents off the ground, which was a lot harder than you might think, with tons of hit stun. I'm talking like a full second. I don't know what I I was smoking when I put that in the move. Here's up tilt, up air, jab, forward smash, down tilt, and up smash, which I think is kind of cool. This one's based on Undyne from Undertale. Here's the forward air, which ended up being the best move in the game. Why? When I made this move, I gave it an insane amount of hit stun. In addition, I also gave it an angle that sends somewhat downwards, which means if you hit this move on an opponent who is near the edge of the stage at zero, they die. They just straight up die. And finally, the dash attack. This move gives a lot of hit stun and is supposed to combo by hitting players up into the air and giving you an opportunity to follow up. It ended up being a really fun move to use, which is why I'm showcasing it. All right. It's now been 10 hours and there's still a ton of work to do. Like the camera. In other games, the camera moves and zooms in with the action. But I didn't realize just how much of a math nightmare this is to try to set up. I was on Christmas break when I made this and I literally got my backpack to get my calculator and paper to try to figure out how to get this to work. It was not uncommon for me to open the game and the camera just be zoomed in on some random spot in the screen. Plus things got really weird if the players like passed each other because I was using their position to determine the camera. Sometimes there would just be a random seizure. It was a mess. I mean, just look at all this mathing I had to do. But after I got it working, I had a really cool idea. Remember how I told you about all the moves I made? Well, if you were counting how many moves I listed, and if you were actually counting, like, what, what are you doing, bro? You'll notice how I only gave 11, which leaves one move out. That's because I also made an ultimate. The ultimate can only be used once per game after you've dealt more than 300 damage. It is crazy strong. 
dealing 46 damage. But while I was making this camera, I had a cool idea. As of now, this is what the ultimate looks like in game. But that's boring. So I spent an entire hour, yes an hour, in a game that I only have 24 hours to make, to make a sick zoom in and charge up animation when you use the move. <laughs> Bro, it's so cool. Now that, that is sick. Here's my friend's reaction to seeing it for the first time. I feel like you have to do some kind of shine. Well, hold on. I have a bull move. <laughs> Watch this move, bro. <laughs> what? It's, it's huge. It zooms in and like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little discolored when I showed him this because I had a filter on it, but you get the idea. And now with just a few hours left, there are only two steps remaining. And I'll be honest, at this point, I did not know if I was going to make the deadline because my friend was coming over at 9 p.m. and it was 5 p.m. But the final two steps were audio and particles. First was sound effects, which I just downloaded the Smash Bros. sound effects and used some of them. I, look, I'm... Forgive me, okay? I still had to do some work though, because I made the sound effect be chosen by the hit strength, like I mentioned earlier, and the amount of damage a move deals, as well as randomly pitching it up and down for some extra variance. Then for the ultimate, I used a combination of Little Mac's KO punch sound, which is this, and the sound effects called Wall Kick, which I made myself for my game called Step by Step. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't know what Step by Step is? It's just a really cool platformer with no checkpoints where the character runs automatically with a beautiful map, online multiplayer, an amazing soundtrack, and more, which took me a year to develop, also available on Steam right now. I also made an entire video on the process of making that game, which didn't do very well. Yeah, anyway, this is the sound that you do from the Wall Kick in the game, whatever. Anyway, I added that sound effect to the ultimate, but only if you hit it. That way it sounds a bit better if you hit the move as opposed to missing it and it sounding the same. And finally, I spent about two more hours adding particles to make the game look way better, including a big explosion when a player dies, and cool particles for being hit like a little spark, and these stars that kind of fly off the player. These stars also become more red as you've been hit more. At low health, they're practically white, and if Cardi's playing and he's at high damage, there's a whole lot of red. Jesus Christ, who wrote this? Just kind of get a couple nares. Jam, oh my God. And with 30 minutes to go, yes, 30 minutes, I added music, which once again, I just stole it from Smash. I added a menu I made in five seconds, a victory screen I made in 10 seconds, some announcer voice lines I recorded. Three, two, one, battle. A HUD, controller inputs, some art for the ground, and patching some last minute glitches. And bam, an entire platform fighter in a single day. Game. Player two wins. <laughs> 16 hours of development, but now was for the moment of truth. It's time to see what my friends think. Three, two, one, battle. I can't hear myself think right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, this music is so damn loud. Bro, you let's play together. I got the mouse. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dodge, he actually had it. Oh, you're just running away. Let me attack him. <laughs> Froggy, uh, stop dodging right there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, I thought it was trippy. He's had time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Damn, damn, damn. Froggy, give me the keyboard. <laughs> All right, bro, attack. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 I thought we'd trip. Dude, get I'm gonna need you to down air, buddy. I'm gonna need you to down air, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. You're just gonna dash attack. No way, that just killed. Yo. That killed! Holy cow, this fair has so much hit stun! Oh, that was clean! Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> Alright, what do you think? What do you think? I think it's pretty solid. It's so hard to, to catch stuff. Oh, what? You're Did stuck. You that? Why are you doing down here? No one's beat me yet. Brenner got me down to last stock. Uh, last stock. No one has beat you. Spamming this fair, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? What the? What? Oh, <laughs> to death. oh, come on. Oh, no. just because of how the hitboxes are made. I <laughs> like, you see that up there? Oh, I just ah! oh my God. Oh shoot, that's gonna kill. Oh, so much hit stun. Ah. Oh man, it's over. All right, all right, all right. How did Froggy do? Froggy actually did okay. What the fudge? <laughs> no, down smash. No! <laughs> Get your my... Shoot, wait, I gotta DI the other way. What was I doing? I just <gasps> That just oh! killed. Oh no. Oh no! 
Oh no! Oh! And hit stun and you exploded. Got him. It might be over for your boy. Oh my god, what? Hold on, what the fuck? What the? I didn't change anything about the super, by the way. Oh no. I'm what? Did you I could counter the yours? super with yours? I did not know you could do that. Yes. Wow, the down tilt does so much hit stun. Well, <laughs> I died I because I couldn't move. <laughs> I might need to turn down the hit stun a little bit. It's not supposed to be able to do that. <gasps> Oh my god, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was so close. Wow, I was in this move is. <laughs> no, that move is a little silly. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. <laughs> it does 28 damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the first down here kill. No way. <laughs> That was true combo! No way! Oh. Alright, it definitely wasn't gonna hit me. I jumped. Game. Oh my. Wait, you oh, won? That was it. Win. Bro, what? I didn't even know you were about to win. If you're wondering how to play the game for yourself, it has a ton of bugs and annoying quirks. However, I will put it on itch for free if this video gets 250 likes. And you should subscribe if you want to see me make more of these kinds of videos. It's a lot, I know, but I'd probably have to spend at least an hour fixing all these bugs and actually adding real controller support. Anyway, again, please subscribe. I definitely do it again if you guys like this video. And seriously, if you want to play a good game, get step by step on Steam. It's my first and only game, and it's really high quality. If you like games like Pogo Stuck or Jump King or Getting Over It, you'll definitely enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.